All right, beta. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. We need to prepare a cash book. Uh, what is the cash book, beta? Cash book contains all of the transactions that are relating to cash and those that are relating to the bank. Now, this is the question in which we are going to solve a three-column cash book. Why do we uh, call it a three-column cash book? Because it has three columns: one for discount, one for cash, and one for bank. Now, as you can see, beta, there are two sides in a three-column cash book. One is the debit side, and one is credit side. So, the beta left-hand side is always debit, and the right-hand side is always credit. So, whenever the money is coming into the business, at the cash or bank account would be debited, and whenever the money is going out of the business, we are going to credit the cash or bank. Okay. So, all of these transactions uh, belong to 2020. So, we are going to write 2020 once at the top so that we do not have to write 2020 again and again. Now, as you can see, Mr. ARD has just started the business uh, on 1st January. Therefore, we do not have any opening balances. If instead we had opening balances, we are going to write opening balances uh, uh, with the name of balance BD. Okay, balance BD are always balance brought down that is opening balance. So we do not need to write here balance BD because we have just started the business. Now, as you can see on the 1st of January, we have started the business and we have invested 65,000 in terms of cash. Okay, so as the cash is coming into the business, so the cash account would be debited. This left hand side, my dear, is debit side and the right hand side is credit side. Okay. So the cash account would be debited and the reference is capital. Now, what is the reference? Whenever beta, we are debiting the cash account, uh, we are going to write the opposite entry. And the, if the cash is being debited, what account would be credited in return? The credit account would be capital. Okay. So the double entry or general entry would be cash account would be debited and the capital account would be credited. Now, as you can see, similarly, uh, we have also invested 135,000 directly in a bank account. So therefore, our bank would go up. So the entry would be bank account would be debited and capital account again would be credited. So instead of writing two separate entries, I have made a compound entry. The entry is cash is being debited by 65,000. The bank is being debited by 135,000 and the capital would be credited by the total of both of these two transactions. Uh, that is 200,000. Okay. So uh, if the money is coming into the business, we are going to write on the debit side. And if the money is going out of the business, we are going to write in a credit side. Uh, now, beta, in a cash book, only transactions that are relating to cash and bank would be recorded. And any transaction that does not involve the use of cash or bank would, wouldn't be recording, will be, won't be recording it here. Uh, we have bought a property for 80,000 from Peter and we have not paid Peter yet. Instead, we have promised to pay him within eight months. So therefore, beta, it's a credit transaction and it would not be recorded here in a cash book. Okay. So we are going to ignore it for a while now. So because in a cash book, we also, we only deal with cash and bank transaction. We have received a loan from Jane for 50,000 by check. Beta, whenever we are receiving loan from someone, therefore we need money and that party James, uh, he gave us the money by check. So therefore our bank would go up. So the entry would be bank account would be debited. And on the credit side, we are going to write the name of the party whom which uh, we have taken loan from. So the entry would be, uh, so this transaction belonged to the uh, uh, first January transaction. We debited the cash and bank and we created the capital account. We have already discussed that. Okay. So in the second transaction, my dear, the bank account is going up. So bank would be debited with the reference of loan from James. So the general entry would be bank would be debited and loan from James account would be credited. Now, instead of just writing James, I'm writing loan from James. So it is important that whenever we uh, receive a loan from someone, instead of writing his or her name only, we are going to write loan from so that we can remember that it was a loan taken in form of cash or through check. OK, so if instead we have bought goods, we are going to write uh, James only and we don't, do not need to write loan from James. OK. So now, as you can see in the third transaction, we have bought goods from D'Souza agreeing to pay later. Uh, this means we haven't paid D'Souza yet. Therefore, it is a credit transaction and not a cash transaction. A cash transaction is one that involves the use of cash or check. Okay. Then we have incurred carriage inward by cash. What is the carriage inward beta? 
uh, whenever we pay someone uh, for transportation of goods this is known as a carriage now there are two types of carriages one is carriage inwards and another one is carriage outwards so whenever we are buying goods from someone uh, this is known as a carriage inwards so the transportation that is required to bring goods uh, to our business to our uh, office or shop this is known as a carriage inward so if we paid through cash uh, obviously the cash would go down so the entry would be cash account would be created and the reference that we are going to write is carriage inwards this is basically a transportation cost uh, at the time of purchase okay so we sold the goods to jimmy but jimmy hasn't paid us yet and instead he has promised to pay uh, later so this is again a credit transaction and a credit transaction is never recorded in the cash book instead only cash or check transactions are recorded in a cash book we have incurred delivery cost the name or uh, another name for delivery cost is carriage outward so whenever we are paying delivery cost by check again the bank is going down so the bank account would be created and we are going to write a reference of carriage outward or maybe delivery cost both are acceptable okay so whenever we are paying money to someone cash or bank would go down and the reference would be the party or the uh, head of the account or in which the expense is being incurred okay now we have to pay insurance by cash so if we have paid the insurance better the cash would go down so the entry would be cash account would be credited sorry cash account would be credited and the reference would be insurance okay insurance account is being debited and the cash account is being credited then we have sublet part of the shop to hussein for rent by check what does uh, this mean sublet means uh, we have already taken out the shop from someone on rental basis and we are renting out to someone else this means sublet sublet we have already taken out this uh, shop on rent and maybe the part of the shop we do not need we have given it to someone uh, else on rent okay so the hussain has paid us this check rent by check so the money is coming into the business therefore the bank would be debited and instead of writing the reference of hussain we are going to write rent receipt now what is rent receipt beta whenever uh, uh, there is an income for the business we are going to write receive after that rent receive or commission receive or discount receive these are all incomes for the business so the rent receive is being credited because it's an income and the bank would be debited okay the bank is being debited with reference to rent receive okay so but the next transaction that we do have we have sold the goods were 25250 in exchange for cash in exchange for means uh from one hand we gave the goods and on the other hand we got the cash immediately okay so therefore it is a cash transaction so the cash would be debited and the reference would be sales okay so we do not uh, make a goods or inventory or stock account instead we are going to make a sales or purchase account okay so the cash is coming into the business the entry would be cash would be debited and the sales account would be credited okay now let's move to the next transaction we have bought more goods but whenever we buy goods we use the purchase account and we have paid immediately in the form of cash so the cash is going out of the business okay so the cash account would be credited the reference would be purchase okay so the entry would be purchase account would be debited and the cash account would be credited now as you can see we are not making other opposite t accounts here because in this uh, requirement we are just supposed to make a cash book okay so in the cash book whenever the money is coming into the business the cash or bank would be debited and whenever the money is going out of the business the cash or bank would be credited uh, and we repaid the loan that we have taken out from james and we haven't paid the entire loan instead we have just repaid uh, 10000 of loan okay so whenever we are repaying the loan the bank account would go down so the bank account would be credited and the reference would be loan from james now instead of writing james only i am writing loan from james okay because this was the original account that we uh, opened in the first place loan from james okay some of the goods were defective and returned back to disuza now beta as you can see when we bought goods from disuza we bought it on credit terms uh, this means we haven't yet paid disuza 
and when we return goods to D'Souza, D'Souza is not uh, supposed to uh, give us the money back because we haven't paid for these goods in the first place. Okay, so therefore D'Souza will also not uh, refund the money to us because we haven't paid for these goods yet. Okay, so again, this is a credit transaction and it does not involve the use of a cash or a bank account. Then Jimmy returned goods to us. But when we sold the goods to Jimmy, we also sold him on credit basis and he has just given us the promise and not the actual money yet. So therefore, if Jimmy is returning goods to us, therefore we cannot expect him or he cannot expect us to pay a uh, refund this money to him. Okay, because he have not yet paid for these goods. So therefore, it is also a credit transaction paid half of the balance owing to D'Souza and receive a discount of 5%. Now, beta, uh, as you can see, we are paying D'Souza. So therefore, this involves the use of bank. Okay. So whenever the question is silent uh, as to uh, whether we have uh, uh, paid the money through cash or check. So we'll be always assuming that we have paid through bank. Okay. So by default, we use the bank account. Uh, we only use the cash account if the examiner clearly mentions it that we are paid through cash. And if the examiner does not mention that we are paid through cash or check, we are always going to write bank. Okay. Now, let us see uh, how much balance do we owe to D'Souza. Now, as you can see, my dear, that we have uh, bought goods from D'Souza worth 30,000. Okay. So, the originally, we bought the goods worth 30,000. And out of these 30,000, we have returned some of the goods to D'Souza uh, worth how much? Worth $5,000. Okay. So what we need to do, we need to deduct 5,000 from this 30,000. Now we are left with, with 25,000. We owe D'Souza 25,000. Now have we paid for the entire debt? No. We have just paid half of the balance owing to D'Souza. And if I... Uh, uh, divided by two this means the half amount that we still uh, we have paid uh, now uh, was 12,500 now when we uh, wanted to pay the Souza 12,500 and now we are paying maybe earlier than promised so the Souza has given us a discount or maybe we have received a discount from the Souza worth five percent so what we need to do better we need to apply five percent on 12,500 so this is 625 okay so if we deduct 625 from the original amount of 12500 we are left with 11875 this means uh, we paid this was 1100 uh, 11875 now if the money is going out of the business we are going to credit our bank account okay whenever the money is going out of the business we are going to credit our bank account by how much? By 11,875 and the remaining balance that we do not need to pay was 625. This is basically discount received and the D'Souza account would be debited. This is the reference of D'Souza and the D'Souza account would be debited by the entire amount that is 12,500. Now let me make a general entry for you for better understanding. Uh, so the bank is going down by 875. We are crediting our bank account and discount received is an income and as you may be aware already that income is credit in nature therefore discount received would be credited and the entire amount of D'Souza would be debited that is 12,500 okay so the entry would be uh, bank account would be credited by 11,875 because this is the actual amount that is going out of our bank account and the remaining amount that we do not need to pay is a discount received and it is an income for the business therefore it is always credit in nature and D'Souza's account would be debited by how much by 12,500 okay D'Souza's account would be debited by 12,500 so the entry would be this okay this is a general entry that we need to make so in this question general entries are not required we just need to make a cash book and I've just this uh, made it for reference purposes. Okay. Now, beta, in the next transaction, third last transaction, we have received a check from Jimmy for 50,000. Jimmy is a customer, obviously. Therefore, uh, he has paid us 50,000 and we have allowed a discount of $2,000. Now, in this case, we do not need to calculate discount, uh, but instead, the examiner has uh, already given us the discount amount uh, as well as the check amount. Now, beta, if the money is coming into our business, so the bank account would be debited 
and the amount that we have not received from customer would be uh, recorded in a discount allowed account so the entry would be bank would be debited by 50,000 why because the money is coming into the business and a discount allowed would be debited as well why because it is the expense for the business discount allowed and the Jimmy account would be credited by 52,000 now let me make a general entry for your better understanding bank account is being debited by 50,000 why because this is uh, Jimmy has paid us so Jimmy is a customer so the money is coming into the business so the bank account will be debited it is increased by 50,000 uh, discount is also being debited why because discount allowed is an expense therefore it is being debited this left hand side is debited and Jimmy's account will be credited by the entire 52,000 okay Jimmy account will be credited by 52,000 so this was basically the general entry behind this now uh, in the second last transaction we paid the rent by cash now obviously if you are paying rent beta the cash would go down so the cash account would be credited and the reference would be rent okay we are crediting cash and we would be debiting rent but here we do not need to make a rent account instead we just need to make a reference of rent okay now uh, let us uh, balance this cash book now why sir we haven't recorded this last transaction now as you can see the last transaction the examiner says withdrawn goods from the business costing 25 now withdrawn uh, refers to as a drawing drawing means whenever we are taking out something from the business for personal use uh, or jo, uh, for home use this is known as a drawing okay so whenever we draw out goods from the business uh, as you can see we have not drawn out cash or check instead we have withdrawn goods from the business so drawing is always debited so the entry is always drawing account would be debited and if instead if we have drawn out cash or check so the entry would be uh, bank or cash would be credited but in this case we have not taken out cash from the business instead we have taken out goods from the business okay so the entry would be drawing would be debited and purchase account would be credited now as you can see this is the non-routine transaction so therefore it won't be recorded in a cash book now let us quickly balance this cash book now how, how can we balance this cash book now there are three columns uh, on the debit side and three columns on the credit side this left hand side is known as a debit side and right hand side is the credit side now first of all we need to balance these discount columns so the discount columns would uh, mostly would not be the same why because this debit side discount is known as a discount allowed it is an expense and this credit side discount column is a discount received it is an income for the business okay so therefore these are two separate things these uh, two never uh, come the same okay there are not uh, never equal now let us uh, balance these cash and uh, bank columns now uh, as you can see a cash is an asset so therefore a cash account will always be uh, debit in nature therefore always the bigger side would be debit side okay so the bigger side balance would come on both of the side that is 90250 and what happens if we deduct all of these items from this the bigger side balance the balance that we are left with is known as a balance CD balance CD is basically balance carried down and it is a closing balance this is the amount of cash that we are left with at the end of the year okay at the end of the month we are left with how much cash 30750 uh, we invested 65,000 uh, from our own savings maybe and we uh, made a sale of 25250 we uh, sold the goods and we received cash immediately so the total cash that was uh, coming into the business was 90250 and out of that we have spent uh, this much of cash and at the end of the month we are still left with 30750 now this balance carried down beta would becomes balance brought down at the start of the next period and balance brought down is basically opening balance now after 31st December 2020 would come 1st January 2021 okay so the cash balance BD would always comes on the debit side okay now let us balance this these bank columns this left hand side is the debit side of the bank and this right hand side is the credit side now as you can see in this question again bank account is also the greater side is the debit side uh, and if the bank account greater side is a debit side this means uh, we have a positive bank balance 
uh, if instead uh, the greater side was a credit side this means our bank is now in minus and this means we have a bank overdraft but this is not in the case in this question now as you can see the bigger side is debit side if we write 240500 the bigger side on both of the sides the balance the remaining balance uh, how can we calculate this 240500 minus all of these three items the balance that we are left with is a balance CD that is closing bank balance at the end of the year uh, we have this much amount in a bank account and this would becomes a balance BD at start of next period. So this was basically a cash book.